Welcome to Dirt Road Believer. I'm so glad you're with me today. I am Tina and today's video is sponsored by Grace Under Fire Boutique. So in just a few I'm going to introduce you to Jessica and let you find out all the wonderful things going on with Grace Under Fire Boutique. Hey guys, we are about mid-May now and I know personally teachers and students are about to jump out of our skin. We're so excited because we're so close to the end of school. Um, so that's coming up. And also, all month in May, we are we're having a subscriber fiesta on Dirt Road Believer. We got to get to 500 subs. So when we get to 500 subs, we are giving away $500 to a church. So to enter your church to win, you have to be a new subscriber. So make sure you comment. When you subscribe, comment your subscriber number and the name of your church. And when we hit 500 subs, we will have a drawing to give that money away. So, hey guys, you know your church needs it. You got all kinds of stuff coming up this summer. So make sure when you go to church or share this video with your buddies um, from church and get them to subscribe. Guys, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe this video. We are a growing community of believers here on Dirt Road Believer. And every single Tuesday and Thursday, we spend time in the most valuable thing we can, which is the Word of God. So today, our teaching is going to be kind of pulled from different parts of the Bible. We're going to be connecting Scripture, so I can't wait to get to our devotion. But first, I'm excited to introduce you to Jessica at Grace Under Fire Boutique. See you back here for the devotion. Grace Under Fire with Jessica. Hey Jessica. Hi. And Jessica is inside the store of dirt. So when you come into Somerville, Georgia, you cannot miss right on 27. You'll practically run into dirt. It's the giant blue building. And in it, Jessica has her boutique, Grace Under Fire Boutique. And I love that name. Yes. Like, how did you come up with that? Well, um, I actually had a different name, and then the state of Georgia told me that I couldn't have that name, um, but I really wanted the word Grace, um, and so um, just did different ministries and different things going on with church and different things like fire just kept coming up, and so I thought about Grace on fire and fire of grace, and Heather actually suggested Grace under fire, which I love. Because you need grace when you're under fire, going through the fire cloth. And Don't we know? Yes. Don't we know? Yes. All right, so I'm curious, what did the state of Georgia shut down? Um, grit and Grace Boutique, which there's another one that's Grit plus Grace Boutique. Oh, okay. So, yeah, can't be too similar, but it's okay. We've got a different plan. That's right, and I love Grace I do too. fire. And you have such beautiful things here. So, will you show us some things? Yes, my like signature line that I'm carrying. It's called Michelle McDowell. So they are a partner company um, with Mary Square and Calls, and they are a company that is um, has God values and are representative. Her name is Katie. And she's just so so sweet. So they have a lot of nicer um, style clothes, um, kind of in between. 
between like your Lily Pulitzer brand and your Crown and Ivy. Very um, formal and chic, um, but also um, you can dress it down. So this to me looks like a perfect dress to wear out on the beach um, and your beach vacation. You could wear it to a formal event such as a graduation and um, to church on Sunday. So it's just some, some really um, light, airy fabric and it's got the pockets and the ruffle details on the sleeve. Um, and then they have something more formal like this navy and um, straight dress. Um, so it is more of a firmer um, cotton blend of fabric and a little bit more formal with the, the peekaboo at the back with the little button and it is a um, knee length dress. And um, so those are just a couple of the different styles and then they even get into some fancy looks like you want to go on a cruise, vacation, wear with this Havana wrap. So they also have a lot of um, different tops, and um, this is one of my favorites. I have this one at home. Um, they have a lot of different tops that are just, and um, this one has that kind of the baby doll style with the little ruffled sleeves, um, and it is the um, more like jersey knit and more professional type material as well. Alright, so these are some of my um, new favorite. When I think of like a boutique top, I think of something sweet and dressy and like look at this detailed crochet right here with the netting on the sleeve. Like I am in love with these. So these um, tops I have in small through large and I have the peach and the blue color available. Um, and so it just has that, like I said, the crochet top and the little netting and then the quarter length sleeves with the elastic around um, the end of the sleeve. More of a casual feel. I have some picos. Everybody loves a good pico. They're just a basic top. You can wear with a kimono. You can wear them by themselves. You can wear them with jeans. You can wear them with just about anything. So one more top I wanted to tell you about. So this is kind of almost like a waffle knit um, top top it is a poncho style it is camouflage and has the um threading at the horizontal not horizontal vertical threading um and the um sleeves are um, like a quarter length sleeve but they kind of are low um on the top and it is just a and um, these are size like small medium medium large and um, because they're more oversized and then it has the um, pleat in the back which is very um, flattering. Jessica, I love your clothes. So tell us, how do we shop? So um, you can come right inside Dirt and pick out anything in my section and take it to the front counter and just check out with the Dirt. Um, I'm also trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to do my social media. I've been doing some live sales, which I love, um, but with a smaller space, I've got to keep in mind how much I'm ordering and how much of that I have available on the floor. So I'm thinking I'm going to move to more of like a Facebook drops mm -hmm. of just the new items that I'm getting in. Um, and I'm also going to try to get my website finished. Um, I've started on it. Um, so that you can shop with me directly online um, as well as if I make any post drops. And so one new thing that I'm getting ready to do is called a daily dose of grace. So what you can do is you can sign up to um, get a daily dose of grace with me. Um, it's going to be a text message that is going to be um, new products that I get in, um, exclusive discounts if you're in my tech trip. And I also want to use this as a ministry opportunity to send maybe a verse that's been on my mind or the devotion that I read or something that I want to be able to bless you guys with. So it's not always going to be something marketing related, but also something to minister to yourself. So if they want to join yes. your daily dose of grace, how do they do that? Um, they can text this number, which I know you're going to put up large on the screen, but it's one 888 5473. So you text JOIN to that number and then you will be um, enrolled in the Daily Dose of Grace text messages. And your Daily Dose of Grace just comes right to your phone. Yes. So I think that's wonderful. 
And for signing up, you get a 10% um, um, coupon that you can use um, with me. Great, great. So you can shop either way. You can come in, touch, feel, try on, or you can go to her Facebook. Yes. Which and is? soon to come website. It's just at Grace Under Fire is my little handle. Um, well, I've always kind of been obsessed with shopping, anything's clothes, fashion, and I've always had the dream in the back of my mind to have a boutique. Um, but I went to school, um, I went to Berry College to be, I thought I wanted to be a nurse that lasted a semester, and then I went to be a teacher and I graduated with a degree. Um, and right after I graduated, I got married um, to my husband, Jacob. And um, so I taught for a year at Glenwood Primary and I absolutely adored the children. And then I found out I was expecting my own child and I went back to school and taught for about two days and then I didn't go back. So I ended up walking into this little store um, called Dirt and asked if she was hiring for any part-time positions and so I ended up here. Um, and without Heather, um, she is the owner of Dirt, I would not have the... Um, courage, ambition, drive to really pursue this dream, but she has shown me through dirt what the Lord can do, and if you're trying to do things for Him and His kingdom, that He can prosper you. So I feel like He gave me that dream in the back of my mind for this day, and I want to use it for a ministry. Okay, this is it for sure. It feels like air. I can't wait to wear it this summer. Love it. Jessica and welcome back to our devotion. Um, as I said today we are going to be talking about different parts of scripture and connecting them and our devotion is called enjoy the breeze like it's so nice this time of the year to get outside and to enjoy a nice breeze but I recently read I just got through the um, book of Revelation a couple of weeks ago and I read this and it struck me for the first time as Hmm, I wonder about that. This is Revelation 7 verse 1 and it says, After this I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, restraining the four winds of the earth so that no wind could blow on the earth or on the sea or on any tree. And I got to thinking, what would happen if there was no wind whatsoever? And then I thought, I'm going to go back and see how far back scripture mentions wind and we don't have to look very far it is Genesis chapter 1 verse 2 and it says now the earth was formless and empty darkness covered the surface of the watery depths and the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters so we have this wind over the surface of the waters and it's the very Spirit of God and um, you know, we always associate wind and the Holy Spirit um, together, and I'm going to get to that in just a little bit in Acts, if you want to go ahead and turn to Acts chapter 2. But, um, I mean, what would happen if there was absolutely no wind? Here's what would happen. I mean, wind circulates the warm and the cold weather around the planet, right? So without it, the earth would become a land of extremes. Our equator would be so hot you could barely, you couldn't tolerate it. Our poles would freeze solid um, and entire ecosystems would change or just completely disappear. So wind is kind of a big deal. Um, we don't think about it that much, um, but it is very, very important to our planet. And similarly, if the wind of the Holy Spirit were to cease blowing, something similar would occur, spiritually speaking. We see where the Spirit of God, um, you know, enters people and comes upon people in the Old Testament. But as far as when the Holy Spirit applies to you and I as believers in Christ, the first time we see it is in Acts chapter 2. So let's read right here in Acts chapter 2. Verse 1, it says, When the day of Pentecost had arrived, they were all together in one place. This is um, the room upstairs. Suddenly a sound like that of a violent rushing wind came from heaven 
and it filled the whole house and they, that they were staying in. They saw tongues like flames of fire that separated the, and rested on each of them. Then they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them. I want you to remember that word, enabled. Then in John 15, 26, it says, The Counselor comes, the one that I will send to you from the Father. The Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify about me. You also will testify because you have been with me from the beginning. So we see um, throughout Scripture that um, the Helper is the Holy Spirit. The Helper empowers us, enables us to bear witness about Jesus. And it comes from God our Father. So the Holy Spirit does this, um, helps us to bear witness in many ways. Small ways, big ways, um, always through those that have been saved. And we can never measure or quantify the work of the Holy Spirit any more than we can measure or quantify it, you know, every small breeze that blows. Um, like the wind, it is always active and it is moving things in its path. Right now there is a gentle breeze and you might be able to hear the leaves rustling. Um, the wind, though we can't see it, is moving things in its path, enabling it to move. But without the wind of the Holy Spirit blowing, faith becomes like the planet that is absent of wind. It becomes um, a land of extremes. It becomes either very hot or very cold. And we connect the scripture from Matthew 24, 12 that says, Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold. Where the Holy Spirit is not blowing and free to move, wickedness takes over. And it says the love of most will grow cold. There's that one extreme. And then in Matthew uh, 13, 40 through 42, it's also speaking of end times. And it says, here's this extreme of very hot. It says, Jesus said, angels will weed out everything that has to do with sin and, and they will be thrown into a blazing furnace. Um, I don't even want to imagine what life would be like without the fresh anointing of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our helper, and the Holy Spirit is what Jesus promised us, that when I have to go, I'm going to send you a helper. And so that helper is our Holy Spirit. And Dirt Road Believers, I want you to tune your ears into what the Holy Spirit is blowing through you. He is our helper, and He is helping us to bear witness about Jesus. So um, think of it as the wind blowing and the leaves moving. You know, He blows through you and prompts you to talk to someone. He prompts you to reach out to someone. He prompts you to tell your testimony or call a friend um, or, you know, serve at your church in some capacity. Those promptings are not um, just great thoughts that you had, okay? Those promptings are the Holy Spirit blowing through um, a vessel that is helping us to bear witness to Jesus. I love, I love how the Bible puts that. So, if you feel like that you are not in tune with the Holy Spirit. Here are two surefire ways um, to tune in to the Holy Spirit. Number one, prayer. And number two, reading God's Word. You know, God deeply desires for you to be led by His Holy Spirit. That's why He sent the Holy Spirit. So when you express the same desire for yourself that God already has for you, you better watch out <laughs> because when you pray and you seek God through His Word daily, then get ready because a mighty rushing wind is going to come. Hey, I want to thank Jessica again from Grace Under Fire Boutique for sponsoring today's video. 
slow down. Take the dirt road, believer.